If you own XRP, XLM, Hedera HBAR, or QNT, you need to watch this video because I'm gonna show you right now important news about XRP and XLM CBDC connections and things with the Federal Reserve and MasterCard and so many different things that we need to speak about. And Hedera HBAR is just doing zero transactions per second. Is HBAR dead? A lot of people are saying that right now, and you need to see this if you own Hedera HBAR. Now, QNT as well, there are massive updates that you need to know about if you own QNT. So we're going to take a look at all four of these cryptocurrencies and destroy the like button real quick. If you own any one of these cryptos, you are special. And join us, hopefully, by the end of this video, you all become subscribers. But let us get into it. And we're going to cover XRP and XLM first, HBAR second, and then QNT last but not least. Now, we're going to speak about XRP and XLM together, okay, kind of in this video, because there are a lot of connections between the two. Yes, even though the SEC, I, I saw this picture and I thought it was pretty funny. The SEC, imagine the SEC asking XRP and XLM if they're friends. Um, XRP is like, yes, XLM is like, no, but definitely they're friends. They're connected in many ways. I'm showing you this picture because they definitely have a bunch of connections and I'm going to show you in this video what you need to know. But real quick, if you own XRP, the SEC and the Ripple case is officially over and the Ripple has won according to chat GPT. Yes. And also right now, Yes, the SEC has appealed in the lawsuit, so literally breaking news just an hour ago, the SEC appealed, but there are no surprises here. And once again, it's been made clear, the court's ruling that XRP is not a security is not being appealed. So this appeal is not about XRP not being a security because we already know that XRP is not a security. And stay tuned for Ripple's Form C to be filed next week. So Ripple's reply, Ripple's response is going to happen next week. So stay tuned for that. Destroy the like button and subscribe. And also, Bit True, the exchange, one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world, has tweeted just a few days ago. They say how whales have had a renewed interest into XRP in the last few days, suggesting long term bullish expectations. Because XRP has been stagnant around the 55 cent level for a long time, but the accumulation by whales suggests a possible breakout in the near future. Everyone, things are cooking for XRP, okay? Right now, at 55 cents, we all know that it's only a matter of time until we explode to the upside. And also, same thing for XLM. At 10 cents, we still have not yet had our bull run. We had a bull run in 2018 and 2021. But so far, we're waiting and it's coming very, very soon for XRP and XLM and HBAR and QNT. But anyways, at Stellar Lumens, MasterCard and Ripple are all connected right now with a CBDC connection right here. MasterCard commit committing to making CBDCs as easy to use as money, as you can tell, and their partner is Ripple. But also, just a few days ago, we had Stellar Lumens joining the MasterCard crypto credential ecosystem to help with interactions across public blockchain networks. So Stellar Lumens and MasterCard literally just partnered up a few days ago. And also Ripple is partnered up with MasterCard and Swift and Visa in this Finastra connection that they're basically connected together with MasterCard. Again, MasterCard, same MasterCard. They are all Finastra. They're connected together to power Finastra, which is being used by the Federal Reserve. Yes, the Fed now will be connected with Finastra and MasterCard, Ripple, XRP, XLM, Ripple right here. Also, again, with MasterCard connected. They're all connected, everyone. And Stripe just announced that it will be using Stellar Lumens XLM for digital payments. So something could be cooking for XLM. Like if you hold XLM, definitely the bull run is coming very, very soon. It's only a matter of time until we break all time highs and you need to be patient. But also right now there is some big news from BRICS. Yes, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. You know BRICS. You all know BRICS. 
they are making a BRICS Pay digital currency, BRICS Pay. And it will be connected to SWIFT, as you can tell right here, and it will be using the blockchain-based system, a blockchain-based system, and you never know, could be XRP, XLM, Ripple, you never know. I'm just saying that. It's not established yet, it's not official yet, but this is huge. The fact that Bricks Pay is gonna be using a blockchain-based system to transact in real time. So that shows you that crypto is just getting started. Good blockchains, good cryptocurrencies, we're just getting started. Also, right now, the largest Japanese mega banks are all using Ripple. Yes, it is official. That Japan's three mega banks, MUFG, SMBC, and MISO, are launching Project PAX, which uses a leverage, it leverages a blockchain based stablecoin to accelerate cross border settlements. The project will use SWIFT's API, but we all know that SWIFT's API is literally using Ripple. The Ripple is in the middle of SWIFT's API, and also the same three largest Japanese banks in Japan, they're all partnered up with Ripple right here, as you can tell. SMBC, MUFG, and MISO, the same three large banks in Japan, they're all using Ripple and connected with it. So, so wow, <laughs> that is a lot. If you own XRP, XLM, we just covered a lot. And Hopefully that just shows you the potential of them because I know a lot of people are giving up on XRP. A lot of people are selling and they're getting scared or they're just impatient. They're giving up on XRP and XLM, but both of them, they still, their time to shine is coming. So be patient. But now let us get into Hedera HBAR because if you own HBAR right now at five cents, also we're waiting for our bull run. The last bull run was really good for HBAR actually. We did a 15, 20 X almost, but so far we're waiting. We haven't pumped at all yet. If you own HBAR, I know it's been, it sucks. It really sucks so far, but this could be a perfect buying opportunity, but also there's some bad news, okay? Like, I hate doing this. I hate putting some bad news out there, but HBAR right now is doing zero transactions per second while insiders are selling millions of HBAR to exchanges to dump. Now, this is a tweet. Yes, it's kind of true because HBAR right now is doing about three transactions per second and the Hedera testnet is doing two transactions per second. So this right here is unfortunate. Like Hedera's network has slowed down tremendously in the past few months. And we need something to come back alive, to generate excitement around the Hedera community to pump the price of HBAR. We need something because just a few years ago, I remember when HBAR was doing about 2,000 transactions, 1,500, 1,700 transactions per second. So right now, Hedera HBAR actually is at zero transactions per second, one transaction per second. This is live right now. This is crazy. So yeah, we need something. We need something. Hedera needs something, a big use case, a big partnership, something to revive Hedera HBAR, and I think it's coming. I really do. I'm not making this segment to scare you or to get you to sell HBAR. No, I'm extremely bullish on HBAR, and we make so many videos about Hedera HBAR on this channel and showing you different use cases and catalysts coming up, but we just need to be patient. We need to wait for something to come up, and you never know when it is, but also be diversified. That's why we own different cryptocurrencies and not just one. It be diversified because you never know which one will be the big winner. Hopefully all of them are big winners and hopefully all of them pump soon, but it's good to be diversified. But anyways, Quant QNT. Last but not least, if you own QNT, also same story. For the past few years, we really haven't pumped up again and we're waiting. Now, hopefully, this is a base for QND. Hopefully, we don't go any lower because right now we're kind of getting close to $50 again. I remember a few years ago, we, do, we went down to this level and now we're kind of testing it again. So hopefully, we pump soon. But 
I think that if you own QNT, you're early. You're extremely early. And this could be the next Bitcoin. QNT, we all know, could be the next huge Bitcoin, right? Like in terms of reaching Bitcoin's current price and more. And this right here shows you how early we are. Only 1.15% of the global population can ever own one QNT each. So this shows you the scarcity of QNT. And right now it seems like Quant is applying AI for automated smart contracts, which is pretty cool. And this right here is a new function um, being shared around the community. So AI could be coming to QNT. That's really cool actually. And, but also I know trading volumes for QNT has been dead compared to a few years ago. But when QNT awakens, it will be a grand party. Some facts, okay? 71% of all QNT holders have been holding for more than one year. And 69% of the total supply is held by whales and other large holders. And right here is a chart that shows you the blue holders. The blue line right here shows you the long-term holders of QNT. And for the past few years, it's just been going up and up and up. So the cruisers, the ones that have been just trading it, short-term traders, they have been getting out and the long-term investors have been in. So that could be a signal that good things are coming for QNT, hopefully, hopefully. But... Yes, I know Quant also does not follow the traditional marketing techniques, but how else do you think they partnered up with the Bank of International Settlements, the Bank of England, Oracle, Nexi, and so many other huge companies like Amazon, the Bank of Canada, Barclays, huge banks like MasterCard are also connected with Quant. So Citibank, HSBC, like we can go on and on and on. The list goes on and on and on. But how else do you think Quant did it? Because QNT has a special technology that companies, corporations, governments need and CBDCs as well. So it's only a matter of time until QNT also has its day. Now, I know for all four of these cryptocurrencies, it's kind of been rough, but patience hopefully will pay off very soon and if you own these four cryptocurrencies any one of these four cryptocurrencies destroy the like button again join us subscribe and i will see you very soon until next time crypto ai man